Hey everyone, I uh, just want to share a quick little mini haul with you. Well, actually, it's not even a haul, it's just an auction that I want on eBay. I want to try my hand at coloring using alcohol markers. Um, I started trying with the big markers. Everybody was raving about how the Walmart, I mean, the big markers would work. So I ran to Walmart and bought a pair over the summer, I mean, a set over the summer, and mm -mm. <laughs> no, didn't work out for me. Um, I don't have a technique. I don't have a skill. I am not a person who colors with markers. So I wanted to try, um, start out with something super cheap, which was the big markers. Um, because you can get like 50 for like 20 bucks. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. So I don't want to go all the way to the top buying Copic markers because those are far too expensive for an amateur. That's not something you play around with and uh, give up on. So I don't want to pay three, four hundred dollars for markers. Um, I also know that Prisma color markers are at the top of the line too, but those for like true artists, you know. So I was like, okay, I've heard other people speak of these Spectrum Neors, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, they're in the middle of the road; they average around twelve to fourteen dollars a pack, um, you know, at different venues. But I always love my old tried and true and trusted eBay. So I went on eBay looking for these uh, flesh tone ones because I've been watching a couple of YouTube videos where. A lot of the ladies just buy the Spectrum New York's flesh, flesh tones, which is these pale hues. And then they use the um, Prisma colored pencils for the clothing and the hair bows and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd do the same. So I said, let me go over there and find some, um, some markers. Now I know in stores these average around $12 to $14 a pack. So when I went on eBay, you know, I was expecting to find them for around the same thing or a little bit cheaper. And then the shipping cost, which will put it right back up to the same price. Well, imagine my surprise when I got there. And I found a lot. And the lot was going for, at the time I first looked at it, it was right at $30 and some, 30 some odd dollars. The low end of 30 And um, it was only like, I don't know, one bid maybe? And um, I can't even remember. It's been a minute. I, I'm just finally getting around to putting the video up. But... Bottom line is, I got these for really cheap. Really cheap. Um, considering they're like $12 a pack, I got um, 10 packs. <laughs> for basically the price of maybe 3 packs, I guess. So, these are the ones I got. I got the um, the red ones. This is the essentials, like the blender, the true black, so forth. These are the pale hues, which are the flesh tones. I guess it's two different names. I don't know. Uh, turquoise. Looks like that. These are the purples. Blues. Try to show you little, the caps a bit. There's six to a pack here. Um, the pinks greens what is oh, I'm sorry yellows I'm trying to look through the lens you find her and browns so there's a this is a total of 10 packs and it was under 50 bucks for all 10 and free shipping can't beat that with a stick <laughs> so like I said I don't color and I've heard a couple people say these work really well so that's why I went ahead and invested in them and for under 50 bucks, if it doesn't work out, you know, I don't feel like um, I blew a lot of money. And maybe they do work great, but I know me, sometimes I start on something and then I, I quickly, you know, do away with it. And Copic markers is not something you invest in and then you stop using them. So I thought I'd start off with something low. So to get all these for under 50 bucks, um, I'm guessing that's a good deal. But I'm a little bit concerned too because I'm not sure if they're new because I see all these staples. In the size of the packs, I don't know if you can see it if I put it there. So I'm hoping I didn't buy used markers, and that's why they're cheap. So if anyone knows if this is how, because um, almost if this is how Spectra New York packages them, let me know. Because out of these ten packs, there's only one pack that doesn't have staples. So I'm like, oh, uh, maybe that's why they were under fifty bucks. Because maybe they're used. I hope not. I haven't even um, fooled around with them yet. And if they are, I just pray that there's a little juice left in them and I can have fun using them. 
But also, if you guys know of um, some good digital stamps site, sites, please let me know because I want to um, download a couple and try, you know, try my hand at it. I don't want to go out and buy a whole lot of stamps if I don't get the swing of this whole shading and all that stuff because I by far am not an artist. Um, but I do want to give it a try, but not at such a high expense. All right, so yeah, if you guys know of any um, really good websites for digital stamps, let me know. I know about Kenny K. I've already found a couple of Kenny K digi stamps, but I'd like to try my hand at some others as well. All right, so thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, look forward to hearing from you about the stamps. Thank you. Goodbye.